<sighs> I have missed you lot. I really, really have missed you lot. It has been some time. It's been about roughly coming up to three weeks now since I've last uploaded. But I've been so ill, people. I have had a horrible, horrible spell of illness. And it has knocked me out for a couple of weeks. And mentally, it has affected me. But I am so glad and so happy to be sitting here well enough to be doing a video for you guys sitting here and just wanting to have a chat with you lot about how the channel has gone over this season, over this year. We're at summer and the football is over and I have missed some of the last games which I am, I was distraught about. I was really upset to miss Newcastle and especially Chelsea at home because we know how much that is a rivalry at the Amex Stadium and there's always great atmosphere. So look, it is what it is. But I'm so glad to have taken that time to really make sure I've recovered well and 100% and now I have and now I am back to talk to you guys about our year on this channel because I think it's good we have a video where we have a chat about my thoughts on the channel, how I think things have gone and just to thank a lot of you guys through the season as well because it has been an interesting one through results and through everything. But a video on my thoughts on Brighton as a whole and the season as a whole will come in the next video. I've had a lot of time to think about, you know, the travels that we've been on this season and the amazing support I've had through this season as well, even when the times haven't been the best. But when I have had the time to get out of my bed and be able to sit on my desk and look through my channel, I went on to my analytics and it just reminded me on how many of you guys watch from abroad, from different countries. But I do want to shout out to my Italians, to my Japanese, to my Americans, to my Greek, to my Australians, to my Indonesians, because there are so many of you from different countries. And I just want to say a massive thank you because for you guys to be watching from these different countries, it's honestly mind blowing. And for you guys to be showing me support on every single video, I see you guys in the comments. It is just amazing to see our city, our little club down at the South Coast, now becoming to be a bigger club and showing eyes from different parts of this amazing world that we have. But through the amazing community that I have built for the Brighton fans, I have recently in the second half of the season been looking to build my audience also from different clubs. So that is why recently I have been bringing props to my recent match day vlogs, for an example. These right here, these cards from all of these different players, from all of these different clubs in the Premier League. For an example, a recent one that I brought out was this card. If you can see it, John McGinn. Now, obviously when Villa came, uh, I've decided to bring the John McGinn card with me because I have wanted to also build on an audience from these different clubs. I've wanted to show more respect to my opponents and say to you guys who support other clubs, look, it is okay to support a channel that supports a particular team because I'm showing you guys support as well. When you guys come and visit us or when we visit you, I still bring you a lot of respect and I do talk about your club in the video and I talk about specific players that I like, that I think are a threat and we do try and talk to some fans from your club as well. Look, I want to improve on getting you guys to still watch the videos even if Brighton have had a big loss or a big upset or something's happened where obviously most fans are not going to want to watch the video because of the result they don't want to reminisce on the negative time but I do want to improve on that and I really do want you guys to watch the video not just from the results of Brighton but just watching it from me you know from my personality and from my entertainment uh, bringing towards you guys because I still think the bad times are extremely important because the bad times are what make the good times special and for this channel I do heavily rely on your guys support to help me fund, you know, these crazy away days for traveling all the way up north to Newcastle, to be traveling on these European tours and everything. But look, honestly, I want you to be involved in this channel as much as me. And this is your opportunity to go down in the comments and tell me and ask me 
what you want from next season that is missing from these match day vlogs. What do you want to see more of? Because I'm here to be your entertainer. I want to entertain you the best I can because it gives me the most amount of job satisfaction. So if you can go down in the comments right now and give me ideas for next season that you want me to add in, like these props that I have, do you want me to do more of them? Let me know. But guys, before I wrap up this video, I have to show you one more thing that you, fans that live in Brighton, might be very, very interested of. So take a watch of this. Now the Premier League is nearly over. We have something very exciting for you people who are living here in the city of Brighton. The event organisers for the fans are bringing us a special, special event for the Euros 2024. When there's no football here at Brighton, there certainly will be in the centre of Brighton City. They're going to be hosting a massive fan zone with a big screen, food and drink, and it's going to be open to 2,000 people to watch all of the England games games live. The venue is going to be held at Central Park Brighton and the tickets are going to be starting at just £6 per person. So we're going to have before entertainment, half-time entertainment, bands, DJs and there's going to be football legends there. Don't know about you but this sounds like the next best thing. I'm going to be there and I'm hoping you're going to be there as well. So if you want to get yourself a ticket go to For The Fans website and cop yourself one of these tickets for one of these special games. For the England for the summer because Brighton aren't here so England is the next best thing. So football fans if you're living down in the south coast of England and you want to come down to Brighton to this massive event that for the fans have given us then make sure to go and get your ticket now because they are running out fast and the Euros is the only bit of football that we have left. But guys, there are many more videos to come out through the summer. We have a lot to talk about and I have something massive that I am working on through the summer to show you guys as well. So all things to be excited about, make sure to be subscribed, to turn your bell notifications on and like this video if you have enjoyed because it has been your boy, Loot Links Brighton and I'm happily back in the game, happy and healthy to make some more content for you guys. Thank you very much for the kind messages for when I have been ill, guys. I really appreciate it. But I will see you. I was going to say Brighton fans, but fans from any club in the next video. It's been your boy, Lucas Brighton, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.